so explain the concept. You 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 showed up at the Rose Bowl and I just sure. happened upon these people. I thought a flea market was happening, so I wandered into the Rose Bowl one day because it, it's been an event center. It's a church now, I think. But yeah, it was a it was a bowling alley. Yeah, it was a bowling alley a long time ago, and it became an event center where it was rent, rented out for whatever you wanted to do. And found out that it was a church group based in Guatemala, having their United States yearly. Uh, convention, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, and I got talking with a couple of the guys there, and I said, can I take pictures? And they said, yeah. So is this like an evangelical group? or but Pretty evangelical, yeah. There was uh, um, maybe kind of Pentecostal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fact that it was a, you know, a group from another country uh, made it a lot more interesting. If it had been a bunch of white Trumpers, I wouldn't have been interested and I would have turned around and walked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But um, didn't really get to know much about their theology, but they didn't have instruments for the music. It was all a cappella, which wow. I thought was really interesting. It sounded really kind of eerie and it's kind of cool. The, the speakers went from fiery to calm. So it was a, it was it was definitely interesting to watch. And I spent the um, better part of a week hanging around because they were there all week. What's the hell? I mean, uh, approaching them, I mean, obviously they were open. You wrote in your introduction that they didn't mind as long as you didn't interrupt anyone yeah, they, that yeah. was trying to they, worship. They said, don't, don't interrupt the speakers. Don't get in the way of people. But how did, how did they so. take this person just walking around photographing? I mean, did you stand out or were they still in Oh, I stood out. I was the only American guy in there except the air conditioner guy. But were they, but were uh, they, were they so into what they were doing that you did, they didn't notice you? Oh, or? They, oh, they noticed me, but like the first day, hello dog, the first day they were, uh, a little skeptical and you know a couple of people came up and like who are you yeah what are you doing but then after a couple of days went by they got used to me and by the end of it they were well some people are just very worried about being photographed yeah, period they didn't seem to care at all and i had had as many people as i could at add my facebook photo page to their you know facebook and i you know just so they could see what i was doing and they wouldn't have any any questions i was there to answer them and I think I added about 200 people to that Facebook page within a couple of days. And they've all and seen these photographs. And a lot of them have. A lot of them have, yeah. So a couple uh, of them really tried to talk to me about, like, you know, what I should do. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, one guy particularly was just like, well, what are you going to do when you die? I'm like, well, I'll probably die. Yeah. You know, I mean, I have a little bit of religion in, in the back of my head. That's well, most of us were raised in a religious family. Yeah, yeah so it's... but. Um, they they weren't they didn't work me too hard. No. A couple of people asked you know talked to me a little bit about that, but really they they were interested in the fact that I was interested in them, no. and that made it a lot of fun because they were you know and there was a lot of, a lot of little kids, a lot of old people, a lot of people they they had set up were churches from all over the country. Each each major church had a different job. Like there was the parking lot guys, or the guys from Florida, the guys who were doing the kitchen were from Kansas, or you know. Uh, right. you know, stuff like that so everyone had their their little job to do and then they uh, had over a thousand people there and they fed three meals a day that was pretty impressive being from oklahoma it kind of reminded me of indian dances where you had kind of the people cooking outside and yeah you know, and <laughs> and the, people and the, walking and, around yeah, and, and the food was really good i ate there a couple of times too. yeah yeah they made sure i did all right and, and is this an annual thing they do or was this a one-time thing? uh it's an annual event but it's in a different city every year so we'll never see it again Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do they have that big of a presence here in Tulsa? or was They have just... one small church here in Tulsa. And I found them just a few weeks ago after I published the book. After I, I printed them, I went looking for them. And uh, I went on Easter. And they weren't there. And I was a guy working on something outside. He's like, oh, they went to Oklahoma City for the church there. I said, hey, you be back in a week or two. They're like, yeah. So uh, I went back a couple of weeks later. Uh, after their church was out and there were some people standing in the yard across the street and I hopped out of the car and they're like, who is this guy? And I was like, you know, does anyone speak English? And they're like, yeah, they got a guy who spoke English. And uh, one of the kids who's in one of the pictures was there mm -hmm. and he remembered me and it, it took him a minute, but they're like, oh, you're that guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, because this has been three years ago. Yeah. So they... Uh, they got really interested. I gave them some copies of the book and, you know, I made it really clear. I wasn't trying to make any money off of them. 
you know, I, I, really, I, I didn't want them to think, you know, that. Well, what made yeah. you decide to do a book on this? Because you, you have a lot of photos, a lot of other subjects. Well, because it was a story that just was there. Yeah. And there's a pandemic and there weren't any new people. There was nothing going on to take pictures of. Right, right. For several months. So I said, well, what, what can I do that would that I could put together? Uh, Becky Watson, uh, the manager of the Tulsa Press Club, helped me. She designed the cover and she helped me figure out how to put the photos together to where it looked like more of a story yeah, than yeah. the kind of pile of, you know, photos thrown together. And so... That's the secret. Yeah. yeah. She put them in order for me to where it looked like, well, it was in different order than what actually happens, you know, right, right. time-wise, but... She, she, helped, she helped make a story out of it. Tina Pena, who's a member of the Tulsa Press Club, professor of Spanish language at uh, TCC, uh, translated it for me. And um, That was the other quest. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and I decided to put Spanish first. Carmen Portillo, a friend of mine, uh, helped do the translation. And, uh, you know, so I had a lot of good help to put uh -huh. it together. And, you know, it's, it's the only, like, week-long story that I have. Yeah, photos, yeah, yeah. you know, so... Other stuff is everything else I do is random or at some event or you know for a yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. But this was like I went down there two or three hours a day for a full week and got to know really some do these it people. An essay. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. yeah, it's like an essay. We're here with a copy of El Camino al Cielo. If Very I'm good. Saying that right. Good work. With Roy Lee, the photographer who took these pictures, and so. Uh, what's the significance of the cover? Is this the, the leader? Or? That was one of the ministers that I spoke to who was pretty receptive to me, me being there. I talked to He really didn't want his picture taken. And I, I toward, this is toward the end of the week, and I kind of insisted. That's why he's kind of looking at me like that. <laughs> like kind Harassing of, people. Kind of, well, are you done yet? Kind of. So we have an introduction and an introduction in English. And so, yeah, just what's going on? Why, what am I looking at and why am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> well, those are people either coming in or going out or just hanging around outside. This is all in the Rose Bowl uh, building, as we talked about. Um, that one is... I like very, that one quite a bit. Very, huh? I like that one quite a bit. He's, that was when people were just starting to show up. And he was, he was just standing alone in the corner. Um, this is the kid that I was talking. Should my finger be there? Is sure. That uh, that's the kid I was telling you about. That when I went and uh, found them at their local church, he was there, a couple so, of years older, and knew exactly who I was. Yeah. So. So so you you found so they have one church here in Tulsa. They do. It's called Sala, yeah. Sala Evangelica. Yeah. And. That's a nice church. Yeah, and that's the fellow. I talked to him quite a bit. I think he's in there twice. Uh, I talked to him quite a bit. He's the one who explained to me that uh, the fact that they separated the men and the women to, from different sides of the room was not misogynistic, as it seems, but that they're trying to keep them from interrupting each other and not listening to the minister. So, which I don't know. That's the part that reminds me of an Indian dance. You got one guy out there grilling up. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, food. Uh, the, one thing that was really impressive about them was the fact that they fed so many people. Every day, and anyone who just happened to walk up, like me, I conveniently got hungry a couple of times. Yeah, and this is all at a rose bowl. Yeah, we had a huge tent set up. So, what condition is the rose bowl in these days? I've it's never been, been in it. Completely it remodeled, and it's a church. Huh. Very and nice. They came. Uh, they came by my house one day not long ago, passing out some flyers or something if they were having. But those are the cooks, I take it. Uh, yes. Yeah. And there's some random guys that were there when I first walked <laughs> out. <And> bikers. And, <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of pictures of the ministers in here because the thing they told me was to not interrupt and not get in the way. Right. So I didn't get up too close very much. And so you're just kind of sneaking around the congregation while they're while they're trying to listen to these guys. Yeah. And how much? Uh, so are you asking permission, or are you? Just, I mean, obviously not that one, but I mean, like, no. like these people here. Are you just going up and taking their photo, or? It's better to apologize later than to yeah. ask permission before. Then you get a posed weird. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I did a few post shots that didn't make it. There's a few. There's a few pictures that didn't make it in the book. There's one where this woman's looking at me like, "Who the hell are you?" Like, and her arms are folded, <laughs> and she looks. He's looking down at me, kind of irritated. I didn't put that in there because you know, I don't take pictures of people to make fun or right. to, you know. Yeah, I do. There's been that. arguments on my Facebook page about <laughs> that, that. You know, someone laughs at somebody in a photo I've taken, and I don't like that. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah, I kind of did that at the Trump rally last year. Where I, I didn't just, go. I, I did. I, I drove. I, I stayed in my car. I mm. kept the windows up because I knew it's like COVID central. Yeah. I and, when it was and over. I took my camera. When I saw the guy walking with a cross, I had to start taking photos. Yeah. I just drove down the yeah. street with my camera and then later fixed it all in Photoshop. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I wasn't I, going to get out of the car. I don't, like take, <laughs> I don't like to take pictures of people I have contempt for. Oh, I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm the street photographer. <laughs> they had just driven from Florida. They look like they, they just drove from Florida, yeah. Plot down right there. That's why I don't go to concerts in other cities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He looks like he didn't drive from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same fellow who's hugging the lady. Who ah. the photo. That makes a nice old marquees. Yeah. I, I have my hands all through here. Anyone trying to look at the photos can't even enjoy them. <laughs> oh, nice I'm confrontational not photo. not sure what he thought of me. <laughs> the food was really good. I'm sure. It was very, it was all like, you know, very simple, like roasted chickens and things mm. like that. But, you know, it was a, you know, all theology aside, there was an awful lot of, uh, good com community spirit among these people and like they only get to see each other once a year and people they've met once a year and they were baptizing in a pool in the parking lot. Yeah, Dylan got baptized in a swimming pool by uh, Carter's sister uh, Bruce Stapleton Carter was that her name or something like that uh, Yeah, Dylan got, got baptized in a pool. It's not yeah, unheard of That was great It doesn't say it has to be, you know, a river. Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> oh. So, um, I, I also, I noticed everything is that landscape. Did you shoot anything portrait, or did you just go with landscape for the book, or... Uh, was you, you always shoot portrait. I pretty much shoot from my mid, or landscape. I mean, you know, from my waist almost. Yeah. You know, but you don't turn the camera. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. No. No. Not. I mean, with me, it's kind of yeah. uh, whatever. Whatever. I change. I change the size of my my frame every time I take there, a photograph. In, in the entire pile of pictures, there might be some like that, but nothing I use. I mean, because this is the format of the book and how it's. And shout out to the Quick Print at 21st and Harvard in Tulsa for making this for me. They, yeah. they, they always do great stuff for me. When you said a book, I didn't know. I wasn't expecting a spiral. That's, that yeah. works out quite nice. It kind of looks like a cookbook. And it also kind of works like a, a an old school like like photo album you'd well, buy for, yeah, and, uh, you know, some, on a trip. Some guys I, I know did a, book, a photo book and they did it perfect bound. And it didn't open all the way. Yeah. To where you could really, it didn't. But that's you know, probably fine in like comic reprints. Yeah. When they have a big splash page across and you're missing yeah. that middle so section. When this was one of the options I was going through, I was like, you know, that, that means you can open it all the way. But let's go, go <laughs> back, go back one page. I'll tell you about this guy. Um, you notice the way the lady's looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, he's, a, yeah, he's a governor of a state in Guatemala, which I can't find out anything about him. Nobody, nobody can tell me at this point. But, um, he was talking to a guy that I had been talking to all week, and I just walked over and went, you know, shook his hand, said, how you doing, and took the picture. And they're looking at me like, what? But, and then I, I found out later that he's a, a Guatemalan politician who happened to be in the area and came by for the day. Oh, but, well, so he thought you were spying on huh? <laughs> I, I don't know what he thought. But I kind of I like that one just because she's like eh, a little skeptical. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, this one I kind of like the mixture of expressions, you know, the, the kind of duh. <laughs> she's kind of happy, and he's kind of just looking. I think there was it was toward the end of the week. They were getting really close to being done. 
So they look like this guy looks like he's done. You're yeah. about to drive to back to Guatemala. 15 <laughs> hours to wherever they came from. That's the cover. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. All right, excellent. So if somebody wanted a copy of this book, how would they go about getting uh, one? Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and I will get you one. All right. We'll put a link or something uh, there in the video. To yeah. You. yeah. And uh, uh, in print as long as you feel like it. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I've made 110 copies. I think I'm down to 70 All right. or yes. so. So I've got, I've got plenty. Come and, on by. And speaking of buying books, let's not forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in print. My novel, 90s cyberpunk splatter, horrible, horrible, horrible nightmare stuff. Uh, uh, PM me if you're interested. Also available on Amazon. We'll put some links on that, too. <laughs> I'm Will Elmer. This is Roy Lee. We will talk hey, to you soon. Hey, this is my show. Yeah. <laughs> Buy that book. That one, too. Yeah.